Hello, this is Phyllis Tarbox with Above and Beyond Christian Counseling Center. And today I'd like to give you the whole heart forgiveness test. How do you know if you've forgiven with your whole heart? Anything less than that allows a door to open in the spirit realm for tormentors to torment you. And it tells us that in Matthew 18, 23 verses through 35 of the parable of the unmerciful servant. It's a good thing about taking a test with God because there are no failures, but there are retakes. So here's the good news. This test is short because I don't believe in circling around a subject. So let's get right to it. Here is the three question test on whether you've forgiven with your whole heart. Test question number one, are you ready? Do you feel like you're owed an apology? Or are you just waiting for your offender to accept the blame and then feel the shame? If you answered no, you're on the right track. So just hang out with us until we get to question number two. But if you answered yes, then you're operating with conditional forgiveness and that comes with an expectation. And an expectation is a debt in the spirit realm. Now debts enlist self-centered emotions and they manipulate you. Here's a fact. You cannot trust your emotions. They are part of your sinful nature and you're not owed anything in this life. You're only called to love God and to know him and to love others. These debts, these expectations invite what comes next. And here's test question number two. Does self-pity drive your emotions? Does it? Do you hear things like, I should not be treated this way. They should just know better. This is so unfair. If you answered no, hey, <laughs> you're doing really good. So just hang out for question number three. But if you answered yes, I have a lot to talk to you about. Self-pity is the jailer that puts you in a jail cell of bondage with tormentors of bitterness, resentment, frustration, and anger. And the key is to recognize the sound of that jailer when he comes. And if you can recognize the sound of that self-pity starting, because you know what's going to come next, you're going to be in that jail cell and you quickly forgive, then you can run to the safety of forgiveness. If you can release your offender, then you have a better chance of getting back to your peace. But look at it this way. The storm of your offender's behavior should not be your dwelling place. It's a hurricane. And if you look at that hurricane, you do not want to be in it because it is your free will choice to either join in the battle and go up in the swirl of the cyclone, or you can choose to sit in the center of that eye of the storm where there is peace. I like the latter part better. Let's face it, forgiveness is all about you, not them. You don't want their demons to define you. Your emotional state has nothing to do with whether you've forgiven them or not. Your emotions are going to catch up after you release the forgiveness, but it may take some time. Test question number three. Does the past come up in your arguments? When you allow the past into come up into a current issue, you open a portal to hell. I'm convinced of that. All the demons who brought in that original debt of unforgiveness now have access to you again. It's like a royalty check. That old offense is still paying the demons and your debt load is increasing. I've shared with you a personal story before about that where I revisited an old offense and I was instantly slammed with all the fears that are surrounded that original unforgiveness. When I recognized the door though, I was able to repent and forgive my offender quickly. And the quick response that I had to that slammed that door immediately shut. So there's a key here to stay repentant um, and repent fast. These, these three simple questions are going to give you your score. So let me ask you, did you pass? Whole heart forgiveness, just to recoup, is a selfish choice. 
not to let the behaviors of others define you. It's about keeping your heart focused on Jesus and walking in love. And I'm very thankful that Jesus never said, they don't deserve my forgiveness. Look at them. They aren't even thankful for what I've done. My life for theirs? Not today, God. They don't deserve it. Jesus didn't say that, but we sure do. You have a choice. You can dine at the table set before you in the presence of your enemies with your head anointed with oil, of the oil of joy, or you can become a food source at the other table where the demons sit and they are salivating as their knives dig into you with bitterness. So tell me, where do you choose to sit? Is that debt worth your identity? Are the past offenses causing you to stumble continually? Then I would seek out deliverance. You know why? Because God is jealous for your whole heart. I hope this blessed you today. Have a great week.